My name is Trella and I'm from Lake District Mobility in Cumbria. We make amazing places accessible by working with partners such as Forestry England here at Winlatter to offer trampers, all-terrain mobility scooters to hire at a low cost. You do not need a blue badge or to disclose anything about a disability. If you experience any mobility challenges, whether they're temporary or long term, the tramper is for you. The tramper is designed to be easy to use, safe and comfortable on rough terrain and on steep slopes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's have a look at some of the features of the tramper. There's a compartment at the front. You can store a small bag or hat or gloves in there. The seat moves backwards and forwards to adjust to your height. You can also adjust the back of your seat forwards and backwards, depending on what's comfortable for you. And the armrests go up to help you get on the tramper and off the tramper and down again to help keep you safe and comfortable when you're on your trip. And at the back, there are two holders where you can store a walking stick or crutches that you might take with you on your trip. Let's look at the key, sometimes at the front of the dashboard, sometimes down the side. You simply turn it clockwise to switch the tramper on and anti-clockwise to switch it off again. When you stop, after a while, the tramper will switch off. So don't panic, just turn the key clockwise again to move on. Also, if you stop somewhere and step off the tramper, for example, to have a picnic or take a picture, please take the key with you and keep it safe with you on your person all the time. So these are the twist grips that make the tramper move. All you do is you turn the grip towards you, whether it's a left or right you're using. It unlocks the brake, like so. When you let go, the tramper stops. The main thing to note that if you're stopping uphill, um, you need to turn the twist grip really confidently towards you because otherwise the tramper may roll backwards. Now here is the dashboard. On the left you'll find the controls you won't need very much and on the right you'll find the controls that you will be using on your trip. Looking at the left first, you've got indicators left and right. You've got hazard light and you've got headlights. Finally, a horn. It may be useful for attracting attention at some point. On the right hand side, you've got the controls you will be using on your trip. This switch here chooses the direction of the tramper, forwards or reverse backwards. This switch chooses which of the twist grips you'll be using. You may have one arm or one hand that's stronger than the other, so you can choose which hand you're going to use with the twist grips. You pull the switch out and switch it to the left or to the right. These two switches control how fast the tramper goes. This switch turns the tramper on its fastest setting, hair, or its slowest setting, tortoise. And this dial makes the tramper go just a little slower or faster. To put the tramper on its fastest setting at four miles an hour, you have this on the hair setting and turn the dial to the maximum to the right. To go at the slowest pace, two miles an hour, you switch this to tortoise and you turn the dial down. This is useful when you're first learning how to use the tramper or if you're going on very rough ground, narrow bit of path or a particularly steep slope downhill. Don't worry if you think you can't remember all of this. When you hire a tramper for the first time, the staff at the site will show you how to use the tramper and make sure you feel safe, confident and comfortable before you go on your trip. And even if you've used a tramper before, the staff can always give you a refresher on how to use it before you set off. Enjoy your trip!